Don't buy your first home before you ask yourself these five questions. If you're a first home buyer looking for your dream home, you'd better to check this video first before you make any mistakes. Hey, it's Shrai here from Avocado Wealth, where we help you to grow your family wealth with the right property and the right price. In this video, I'm going to show you five questions you can ask yourself before it's too late. Let's jump into it. Question number one, are you realistic about the property you're going to buy? I found many buyers tend to be idealistic rather than realistic about the property they're going to buy because they won't find the dream house for the first home. For example, you may want to buy a really nice three bed house in the area you want it, but actually you can only afford a unit in the same area. So this would stretch your budget. Another case is when you start to looking for property, you realize that your budget is going up all the time. Because when you start to search, you find that every time when you add a little bit extra to your budget, you can find better options. And by doing this, you will blow your budget quite easily. Another example is where you want to buy a lifestyle suburb, which might be too far away from where you work. But you need to know at this stage, what is the most important thing for you? If you work in the city but live too far, the commuting cost can be a hidden cost which you are not be aware of but can cost you a fortune. Think this way. If you spend one hour commuting on the road one way, then you need to spend two hours on the road per day, 10 hours per week. 10 hours per week. That's more than a full working day. What you can do with that full working day? I'm sure you can do better with this full working day rather than sitting on the road. As I mentioned before, investing in yourself is always important and you need time to invest in yourself. So don't waste too much time on the road. But luckily enough, we are now living in a world that we can do a lot of things online or even work on the road or from home. But according to ABS data, 95% of Aussies didn't have this privilege to work from home in 2016. And still, 90% of Aussies won't have this privilege to work from home in 2022. So for most home buyers, it's still better to live close to where you work. So you have time to develop your career and skills which would benefit in the whole life. But what if your budget doesn't allow you to buy the property that is meeting your criteria? Or maybe you change job location quite often and you don't know where to buy. This will lead to the second question. Are you willing to try rent investing? Obviously, rent investing is a combination of renting and investing. It becomes popular for people who want to achieve convenience, lifestyle, and the return for investment in the same time. Because you can rent in the place that you want to live and avoid to pay the premium, and at the same time use your money to invest in a suburb that possibly to bring you best return where you don't want to live or you can't live. For example, you work in the CBD, and at the same time you can use your money to invest in a suburb for capital growth. If you want to know more about how rent investing works, please comment below and hit the like button so I can make a separate video to explain it. Question number three. Do you need to talk to a buyer's agent before you decided to do it on your own? Many of you may overlook this option because you haven't realized that a buyer's agent could accelerate the buying process. Especially when you keep missing out the property you wanted to buy or you're not confident at auction. Buyer's agent often save you more money than what you invest in them and often they save you a lot of time and stress. So don't be desperate to pay more for the property you wanted before you talk to a buyer's agent for help. If you want to know a buyer's agent is going to be a good solution for you or not in general, please comment below and hit the like button 
so I can make a separate video to explain it. Question number four. Do you have to buy the property in your own financial capacity or you can ask help from your trusted friend or family? Many first home buyers would buy the home with more than 80% loan ratio, which means they pay less 20% deposit. This means they have to pay mortgage insurance in most cases. This insurance will cost you a few thousand dollars to tens of thousand dollars depending on your loan ratio. And it covers the lender, not you as a buyer. So you're paying $10,000 for other's benefit. But if you can ask help from your trusted friend or families, then you may be avoid this $10,000 insurance fee. Instead, you can just pay your friend or family the interest, which is much lower than the insurance cost. If you're interested about this, please talk to your banker or financial broker about the details regarding to your own circumstances. Question number five. Are you able to add value to the property in the future? This is to have the future in your mind. You're buying your first home. So perhaps you won't live there forever. So what if you upgrade your home in a few years time? Are you able to add value to this property so it can generate a better cash flow or equity. It doesn't to be extensive, otherwise you won't feel comfortable to live in there right now. But some simple job like uh, replace the carpet or floorboard or repainting the wall may give the property an uplift which would bring better rent or equity down the track. If you're buying a landed house, is your house subdividable or are you able to build a granny flat at the backyard to increase your yield? Please be aware this is your nice to have rather than must have option. The longer you plan to live in the property, the less relevant it becomes. But if you only plan to live there for a year or so, then you may need to think more investment mindset while you buy your first home. So after these questions, Hopefully you can find the answers for yourself and you don't make mistakes that many first home buyers will make in the first place. If you do like this video, please hit the like button and comment below. And if you have any questions or any topics about the property that you want to hear from, please let me know. And I will make more videos in the following week. So if you don't want to miss the latest content, please subscribe below. And I will see you in the next video.